All right, perfect. All right, so let's just jump right into this, y'all. So good evening. Um, man, appreciate y'all jumping in and, and, and um, you know, just joining me tonight. And with this, this live feed, I don't have a true agenda. What I will say is, welcome to November. We're almost at the end of the year. Can y'all believe it? And what's bananas is that though this is the end of the year, November, excuse me, is actually National Entrepreneurship Month. Can you believe that? Two months left in a year, and this is National Entrepreneurship Month. Bananas. So I just want to get on here and say, you know, every month I try to have a theme. Last month was, you know, National Financial Planning Month. The month before that was, you know, National uh, Insurance Awareness Month. And this month holds just a dear place in my heart because I am an entrepreneur. I've been an entrepreneur since about 1999. And in 2014, I went 100%. And entrepreneurship isn't for everybody. So I want to say just mad love and kudos to those individuals who are on their entrepreneurship journey. So whether you're starting out and you're still in corporate America and you're looking at transition into entrepreneurship, or if you're a full-blown entrepreneur and this is what you do, I just want to say I appreciate you. Because as an entrepreneur, we need to hear that sometime. So with this being National Entrepreneurship Month, I'm dedicating the entire month of November to giving shout outs to individuals, to giving big ups, to saying thank yous, to providing value, to giving insight because entrepreneurship is hard. And I'll share this story with you all kind of about my entrepreneurship journey. So it's kind of funny because people see the financially fit brand. And when they see me out in public at the gym, man, P, you, you're doing your thing, man. Oh, oh, you know, and they just, you know, think that, you know, I'm living a dream. One time I went to the gym and a guy said to me, it was around uh, one o'clock or so. I'm like, hey, what's up, man? What, I said, what you doing in here? He's like, oh, it's my day off. I'm like, oh, that's cool. He said, man, I'm trying to be like you. And I thought like trying to be like me. Nah. That's not what you're trying to do because I have the stress of having to create my own paycheck. See, my friend who I was talking to at the gym had a job. He was taking a day off where he more than likely was still going to pay for that day. As a true entrepreneur, there are no days off. If I don't show up every day at my best, I don't make a living. I cannot provide for my family, take care of my wife, take care of my daughters, be there for the community. So understanding entrepreneurship isn't for everybody. But even though it may not be for everybody, everybody needs to have entrepreneurship skills. So I don't care what job you're in. You need to be able to function like an entrepreneur. If you're working at the bank, you need to know how to function as an entrepreneur. If you're working, uh, if you're working in as a chef, you need to be able to function as an entrepreneur. So, so I love this month and I'm so just, just jacked out my mind about this month because with this being entrepreneurship month, we're going to share some entrepreneurship secrets. We're going to add some value to some people's lives just to get you moving faster through your entrepreneurship journey because I know what it is to be broke. Let me tell you about when I went an entrepreneur. I was forced into being an entrepreneur. So though, you know, I dabbled in some things, I did some real estate, had some success, um, um, did some other things, you know, worked at a, at a big firm, you know, big time financial advisor, right? And I had some dreams. I want to do some things with this financially fit brand, right? But I wasn't moving forward until I was blessed to be fired from my job, blessed to be terminated from my job in 2014, to be exact, July 8th, 2014. And when that happened, I kind of made a decision. I made a decision as an entrepreneur. It took me a couple of days to get my head wrapped around it, but I made a decision because I remember when I was being walked to my desk and, and, and I was talking to my manager and I asked him, I said, hey man, how am I supposed to take care of my family? And he looked at me and he said, Perry, I don't know, but you're sharp and I know you'll figure it out. And after about a couple of days, I got my head wrapped around it. And that's when I vowed that I would never be in a position again, that I would have to ask a person, a man, woman, a company, how I was going to provide for my family. Because ultimately, it is my job to provide for my family, not not my employer. 
My employer's job is to make sure that I do what I need to do to drive revenue for that company. But taking care of my family is my job. And I take that very serious. So I vowed then that I'd be an entrepreneur and never be in a position again where somebody could take away something that I built for another company. So that's how I started my entrepreneurship journey. And it was hard. And it was rocky. And let me let me tell you, hard and rocky. People see me, I'm like, oh, Perry, you, you're doing your thing. Let me tell you about how broke I was. So got fired in July, had some savings, you know, because I was a financial advisor. I had my retirement accounts. I had some savings, things of that nature. Within a year, I burned through almost every dime I had. Every dime. To the point I was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to have to go back to work. I'm going to have to go back to work. So I start doing some part-time stuff, you know, got back into the industry, you know, the health and fitness industry. I had been in that industry for a while and went back to work and found out that I was actually losing momentum in my entrepreneurship journey. So I, I, I end up leaving that part-time job, which was taking time away from what my God-given purpose was as an entrepreneur to be able to provide value to people's lives through financially fit, through being a financial advisor, through health and wellness throughout the whole gamut. So I, so I quit that part-time job because I was giving myself an out. I was giving myself an out to say, you know, if I can't make it as an entrepreneur, you know, I, can, I, get, I took away the out. I took away the part-time job. So I went and from 2014, uh, July 2014, all the way to October 2015, I hardly made a dime. Burned through all my savings, all my investments, all my retirement. Real talk. Throwing all kind of money into the business and try to build and grow. Then October hit and I end up making more money in October to December then I had made my first two years working for a bank. But I had to stay in the game long enough to see it. A lot of y'all trying to be entrepreneurs, but you don't stay in the game long enough to be able to see any results. A lot of y'all trying to be entrepreneurs, but you don't have the staying power because you're not investing right now. You're not saving right now. If you want to be an entrepreneur, you need to be saving and investing right now so that when you step out there, you have a plan. But it wasn't just having the financial backing. It was having the right people around me because I almost went into isolation. If you wasn't talking about helping me build and grow and giving me a positive you know, a, a, a light and, and giving me energy because I was grinding. I was up work. I was up trying to get a website built, dealing with contractors in Kenya, in Pakistan. I was up at three, four o'clock in the morning. Because of the different time zones Trying to make things happen A lot of people don't want to do that A lot of people want to sleep in A lot of people want to sleep in And that's cool I'm not mad at that Entrepreneurship may not be for you But for those who but for, for those who, who believe entrepreneurship is for them Then you got to understand You're going to work harder Than everybody who has a job Period, point blank I got in the books I networked I I found people, you know what I'm saying, who were further alone in the journey than I was that I could learn from them. And that's why I'm so excited about Entrepreneurship Month because I'm going to drop this science on y'all for this month. It's going to be absolutely amazing. We're going to build. We're going to grow. It's going to be outstanding because I'm going to I'm gonna tell you and be very candid with you and tell you all the mistakes I made so you don't make them. So you can learn from my mistakes and move faster along your journey. I'm going to give you insight on how entrepreneurs should have their financial plan and their finances set up. Going to share that with you this month. We're going to have some other uh, other entrepreneurs. I, I actually coach entrepreneurs to scale and take their business to the next level. We're going to have them chime in and provide some content so you can hear from other people other than me. It's going to be an amazing month, y'all. So I just want to I just want to get on here and say what up. It's going down November. Um, National Entrepreneurship Month, whether you're an entrepreneur and you're, you're, you're trying to scale your business and grow it, whether you're a startup, whether you at that job that you know don't care anything about you providing for your family and you're thinking about transitioning out, we going to get this information. It's going to be absolutely amazing, y'all. So I'm going to get off the phone because you know why? It's a quarter to eight. 
And I'm not about to get off the phone to go hang out and watch TV. I have an appointment at 8 o'clock. That's right. I'm going to run an appointment from my computer with a couple of my clients who we need to put their financial plan together. It's, it's Diddy. It's can't stop, won't stop. A lot of y'all sitting down Netflix and chill right now. I'm not Netflix and chill. I'm going to work till 8. Then I'm going to study a little bit longer. Then I'm going to wake up around 5. <sighs> but that snooze button is, that snooze button is, uh, uh, is it's, I tell you, that snooze button is tough, though. I hit that snooze button. It's hard. But I'm going to wake up at 5, 5.30. And then I'm going to study. So I'm going to study and get my day started. I'm going to be so far into my day by 7, 8 o'clock. By the time my daughters go to school at 8.30, I'm going to have more accomplished in that time frame than a lot of y'all do in an 8, 10-hour day at your job. That's what entrepreneurship is about. So for those that want to rock with me this month, it is going down. I see some of my clients on here, some of my friends on here. Love y'all, you know what I'm saying? Mad shout outs. This, this is our time. November is our month. It's the big give. Thanksgiving is the big give this year. And in this month, we're going to give and we're going to grow and we're going to build. So mad love to y'all. I'm going to go ahead and, and jump on this next phone call and get ready for my next appointment. Because as an entrepreneur, I don't have a nine to five. Ain't no nine to five over here. It's 28, like 28, nine over here. I'm trying to figure out how to get an extra, extra two days in my week. Getting up, I'm getting, that's why I'm getting up from earlier. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sleeping till eight, nine, nine o'clock, waking up at five, grinding. Somebody asked me the other day, yo, why we ain't seeing you in the gym uh, at the six o'clock workout? Homie, I've been up since five o'clock grinding, grinding for my family because I'll never ever be in a position again where I have to ask somebody how am I supposed to take care of my family because the only person responsible for taking care of my family is me and I love y'all and we out of here you know what I'm saying so peace y'all be good and yo plug in this month you know we, we're gonna make some things happen we're going live I'm gonna have some guests on here we're gonna do some Facebook joint lives it's about to go down so mad love to y'all we'll talk to y'all soon peace